All right, which internet connected large language model can properly summarize YouTube videos? I know it's kind of a niche question or specific, but it's actually one of the best things for you to know. I don't know about you, but if you're anything like me, I use YouTube so much to learn new things, but I don't always watch YouTube videos. I mean, when I do, I definitely watch them on 2X, but a lot of times I use internet connected large language models. All right, let's jump in and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, so if you're new here, let me just get this out of the way. My name is Jordan Wilson, and this is Everyday AI. We do an AI in five every single day, uh, but we also have a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping everyday people learn and leverage Gen AI. So if this is helpful, please subscribe to this channel. Leave me a comment. Let me know what, what you want to see next, or if you have any other questions, but also please go to youreverydayai.com and sign up for that free daily newsletter. All right, so let's jump in and talk about what we're doing here. So we're going to be grabbing uh, this a URL, and then we're going to be asking different internet connected large language models to summarize the video. All right, so let's just start off the let's just start right away. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and go into Gemini. So uh, I do have to do a couple uh, explainers here. So uh, it's a little tricky with Gemini, uh, because no one knows what Gemini is today or tomorrow. And you'll see what I um, what I'm saying here in a second because it's it's changing a lot over the last week or two, um, and there's also different uh, different versions and variations depending on if you have a, a workspace account or a personal Gmail. I'm on the paid plan for both, and I'm going to see the different. I'm going to show you the differences here. Uh, so one thing to note here: I am on the enterprise version of Gemini in my workspace account. Okay, so. Uh, unfortunately, it's still a little hard uh, to use AI features if you have a workspace account and if you're not an actual enterprise company, uh, even if you sign up for the enterprise plan. I know that's confusing. Uh, so let's just go ahead, put in the prompt, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you the ending here. It's going to fail. Um, so you're already seeing it failed, and I'll tell you one of the reasons why. Well, um, even if you are paying this $36 a month, which is what we're paying uh, for um or Gemini Enterprise on a workspace account, you still do not have access to extensions. So I know this is wild. Um, Gemini can't talk to YouTube, even though Google owns Gemini and YouTube, they can't talk with each other. All right, confusing, I know. All right, so now, sorry, there's gonna be a lot of jumping around here because we're gonna have to go in different browsers. All right, so now we're going to be jumping into, let's go here. So now this is my personal Gmail account, and I have the paid version of Gemini Advanced. I know it's weird. Uh, the other, you know, when you're using uh, Gemini in a workspace account, it just says Gemini. Uh, this used to say Gemini Pro and Gemini uh, Ultra. Now it just says Gemini Advanced. So presumably we're using Gem uh, Gemini Ultra. Regardless, what we need to know here is it has extensions. And so we know it can talk to YouTube. So now when we go in and we type that, uh, that exact same prompt. Presumably, this is going to work a lot better because it is actually connected to YouTube by default. So here we go. So it says, according to the video, AI is killing plugins. So kind of got it right. Actually, open AI is killing plugins. Uh, so it it got all a lot of the details right. Got one or two small things slightly incorrect. Uh, I'm not I'm not worried about that because it did like a 95% job or so, and it did it pretty quickly. Uh, so pretty good job. If you're using Gemini Advanced from a personal Gmail account. Confusing? I know. All right, let's keep this thing going. Let's go ahead and give Copilot a try. Let's let's go ahead and uh, stop our screen sharing here and let's bring up Copilot. All right, so this is uh, from Microsoft. We're gonna go ahead and try. I'm clicking, please summarize this YouTube video and I'm dropping in the link. All right, so it says, uh, unfortunately, I cannot directly watch YouTube videos, but I can provide information about tools you can summarize them. All right, so uh, sometimes a copilot will try to just give you a summary of a video that's not actually the video that you put in. In this case, it did what I like to see is it says, I can't do it. Here's other ways you can. But guess what? There is a way to do it. All right, so we're going to have to stop the screen again. We're going to have to go into another browser here. All right, so. Give me a second here. We're going to make sure that we open uh, our Edge browser. So uh, to do this, you are going to need the Edge browser. All right. So now this is the Edge browser. So 
uh, I can run the exact same prompt in here and it's not going to work. I'll go ahead and show you. That's ultimately not what we're doing. So again, uh, the Edge browser has Copilot built into the browser. So uh, there's some features and functionality that a lot of people don't even know about inside of Copilot um, from uh, Microsoft and their Edge browser. That's actually really powerful. So here's what we're actually going to do to do this. So I am just on YouTube right now in the Edge browser. So I'm going to go ahead and click this video. There's ads, right? So I have to, um, I'm going to go ahead and mute this and go ahead and skip those ads. All right. So now what I do, and hopefully you'll be able to see this. So I'm going to click the, uh, the co-pilot uh, kind of sidebar there, right? Um, so I don't need all these settings. These just uh, pop out pretty much. So let's get this correct here. There we go. Okay. So now what you do, and a lot of people don't know this, if you are on YouTube and if you choose uh, creative, which is GPT-4, uh, you're going to get this generate video summary. Yes, this is amazing uh, from Copilot if you're using Edge. Uh, so I, I can just click that. It's a little slower um, than Gemini, but it does a great job. Uh, and this is free as well. Um, and also, uh, if you don't know, Edge is built on Chromium, which means it functions just like Chrome. And it can bring over uh, most of your Chrome extensions, your, your Chrome bookmarks, etc. So if you're a heavy Chrome user like me, Edge is actually a, a, still a pretty familiar experience and it works fairly well. Uh, so here we go. Like I said, it's a little slower, uh, but it does a really good job. So it, it, hit, the, uh, it hit this out of the ballpark in terms of uh, correctly analyzing the, um, the YouTube video here did actually a fantastic job. Um, so yeah, got to love that one. All right. So now we got one more, right? So let's go ahead. Let's stop sharing. I know we're jumping all over the place here. So now we're going to go into chat GPT. Here we go. All right. So we're going to start. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. All right. We're not going to do this right away. All right. So now I'm just asking the general default chat GPT to summarize a YouTube video for me. Um, and it says I, I'm unable to access or summarize content from YouTube directly. But here's the thing, GPTs. All right, so this one's kind of a workaround technically. So the, uh, you know, chat GPT itself cannot summarize YouTube videos, but GPTs can. So there's a GPT called Video Summarizer. And I can now just say, please summarize this video. And I'm talking to the video summarizer. So I need to click allow. All right, I'll zoom in a little bit. So hopefully you can see this. And here we go. So it says, here's the summary of this video. Uh, again, this, it's, it's, it's a little faster than Copilot, but slower than Gemini. Uh, but again, only Gemini advanced if you're using a personal Gmail account, but paying uh, the $20 a month. So here we go. Uh, I like the uh, the default formatting of uh, of this a lot better. But here we go. It's the main points, quality concerns, etc. So uh, it did. It got it. Um, you know, a hundred percent, hundred percent right. Uh, it did a great job of summarizing everything. All right. So I know this was a lot, but high level recap: What can summarize? What internet connected large language models can summarize YouTube videos? All right. Ready? Here we go. So if you're using uh, Gemini in a workspace account right now, it cannot do it because it does not have YouTube extensions. If you are using Gemini with a personal account that has extensions um, and you enable the YouTube extension, it does a fantastic job. All right, Copilot by itself, no dice, can't work. But if you use the Edge browser, go to the YouTube video um, and then go ahead and click the Copilot sidebar, it does a fantastic job. All right. Uh, ChatGPT by default does not do it. But if you use a specific GPT that does YouTube summaries, it doesn't. All right. I know that was a lot, but this is helpful. I cannot tell you enough how time saving this can be because so, so many times, hey, maybe even this YouTube video was a little too much for you. You know, maybe you just might want to summarize my YouTube videos. I don't care if you do that. Um, hopefully you watch them because I think there's a lot of value. But still, you know, there might be a two hour video and you just want uh, the high level points, right? So uh, there, there you go. You can do uh, partially, you can do it in uh, Google Gemini, uh, in Microsoft Copilot and uh, ChatGPT, but you just got to know the right way.
All right, I hope this is helpful. Please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back for another AI in 5 or AI in 10. Thanks, y'all.